This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. I always tell Saurabh Mittal, my finance expert, that he's got a bit of a shrink in him, a bit of a mental health consultant. <laughs> How are you? Very good, Rishi. Very good. The reason I'm saying that, for those of you who didn't tune in yesterday, is because he talked about behavioral biases towards your money. I mean, loss yeah. aversion, regret bias, confirmation bias, and he gave us real-life examples. Today, what are we doing in terms of extending that thought of behavioral biases, Saurabh? Like I said, that I strongly believe that these are the biases which give rise to all the emotions which eventually uh, lead for greed and fear and the volatility in the market. So it's very important that we identify this bias. And the next in turn that I want to talk about is something called as choice paralysis. So intuitively, the more choice we have, it's considered that it's better. However, the sad truth is that too many choices can lead to a decision paralysis due to information overload. In my view, either way it leads to inaction or too many choices confuse us and not having too many choices lead us to this or dikhau kind of syndrome. Like yeah. you did yesterday, would you have a real life example to give us in this particular case? Yeah, I mean, this exactly happened to myself. You know, I wanted to buy a wallet for gifting to someone and could not find too many options in a leading multi brand store. So I decided to go online and I was so puzzled with the amount of choices that were available there and the information that ultimately I ended up buying nothing at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what else? What other behavioral biases can we talk about? And the other thing that you can talk about is something which is uh, we all are you know, exposed to is called herd mentality. Herd mentality, so of course, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is the tendency of to follow the crowd due to the strong desire among humans for peer approval. This makes it difficult for us to act based on our own personal convictions or in contrary manner to what other people are doing. Again, I'd ask you to, uh, to give me a live example, please. Yeah, so this is a bit time kind of example, but this is my all-time favorite examples. I'm sure people who are uh, active in the market during those times of 2007 would surely relate to it. So Reliance Power had come in was offering an IPO, and I think it's the best example of this. In 2007, in ADHU pronounced this IPO, and everyone wanted to subscribe to it. So I remember people opening demand accounts just to apply for this IPO. Yeah, <laughs> different yeah. times that <laughs> if you look at yeah. ADAG now. Well, yeah. your recommendation would be Saurabh. So choice paralysis often happens when we don't stick to our asset allocation and look for ways to make some quick money. Again, herd mentality is again a very strong comfort bias and does not allow people to think rationally. Yeah. And I would say that it's better to identify these and then we'll be able to work on the same. What's the quotable quote for today? So it's again a great quote from Warren Buffet. It says, time is your friend and impulse is your enemy. Take advantage of compound interest and don't be captivated by the silent song of the market. <laughs> yeah. The great Warren Buffet, amazing. Yeah. Sorry, before you go, if you want to invest, where can we reach out to you, buddy? So you can put a mail to me. My email address is saurabh at cwa.co.in. Also, I'm available on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Saurabh S. Mittal. See you tomorrow, buddy. See you.